Hercules probes several spots and registers a maximum of around 350 degrees. That's cooler than the 500 degrees taken here in 2003. But it's not necessarily a good sign. The other thing that is a possibility is the hydrothermal system is shutting down. That means it's being what's called a closed system. That raises the possibility that the system is sealed and could be setting it up for the next explosion. If the system is sealed, the danger could be mounting by the minute. Someday, Kickham Jenny could breach the surface to form a new Caribbean island. But a major eruption here in a subduction zone where two of Earth's plates are colliding could have dire consequences. These kinds of volcanoes are dangerous because as that plate subducts, it carries down in the fractured plate a lot of water, and that water then becomes explosive. The subduction zone volcanoes are the worst on the planet. The science team continues to probe Jenny's crater for clues about when she may erupt. But as Hercules tries to take the temperature of another vent system nearby, they make a startling discovery. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, Stop right the there. Air. All of a sudden, these shrimps started to come out. It was like a bit of like an angry hornet's nest. So between 2003 and 2013, we've had a colonization of vent shrimp that have come from somewhere. We don't know where. Bob Ballard was part of a team that discovered the existence of extremophiles like these while exploring a hydrothermal vent system in the 1970s. These powerful pumps circulate vast quantities of seawater far beneath the Earth's crust, where it's superheated and ejected in a chemical and mineral rich slurry. The systems support bizarre communities of creatures that thrive on the heat and chemistry of our planet even in the most extreme environments. Their discovery revolutionized our most basic understanding of life in the universe. 30 something years ago, people used to believe that all life on Earth was based on the sun and photosynthesis. But with the discovery of hydrothermal vents, we found out that there's a lot more life on Earth than we ever expected there to be.